bus literally just passed me. We just made it to Venice. I think I'm gonna get it. Venice is definitely a whole different vibe from Rome. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is June 1st and today we're going to Venice, Italy. I'm super pumped, everyone's been telling me that if you think this is beautiful, like Rome, Italy is beautiful, wait till you see Venice. So I'm very excited to see what all the hype is about. I'm taking the train there, but to get to the train, I have to take the bus and usually I take the tram. So I'm kind of nervous about taking the bus because I think it's a little bit unreliable. So I'm going to try to catch it at like six and it's like 550. I have to walk a little bit, just like a five minute walk or something like that. And then we'll be at the bus. So let's go and get this day started. <laughs> news bus literally just passed me like I was standing at the bus stop and everything and it just passed me and um, there's like a news station over here so I literally just like typed out what I wanted to say on Google Translate to him and basically I said like oh it passed me like what do I do like how do I get it to stop for me like do I have to wave it down and he was like oh yeah you probably have to wave it down and I was like how would I know that like oh my gosh I'm not chancing anything the ticket to um, Venice was a hundred bucks so I um, before and I got a white chocolate croissant. She brought her breakfast. Look at these cute little water cups. So here we have some bread. It doesn't look really Italian, but yeah. at least it's free because most restaurants put bread on your table and after you eat it, they put it on your bill and charge you like a lot of money for it, unlike America. So we always ask if it's free. And this mm -hmm. is. Yep. And they gave us olive oil and look at this. It's literally like a spray. So interesting. <laughs> So I got the seafood pasta with lobster sauce, and this looks amazing. We are getting gelato. This is my friend Carlos. Ciao, ciao. Come on. You've been at the EF program for how long so far? Well, I have been here since January. Um, but I think that I'm only going to stay like another weeks, uh -huh. six months. Until yeah, I'm that's long. a long time. <laughs> yes, yeah, a long time, but it's really good. Yeah. It really helps. Yeah. Yeah. I have learned to speak Italian, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, Venice is known for masks, and there's this cute little shop with all kinds of masks yeah. on it. I think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. it's really cool. So we've been passing so many like leather um, stores and I was actually wanting to get a backpack but then I saw these cute purses. I saw the white one first and I really liked it but then the brown one I would definitely wear more so I think I'm going to get it. 
and she, I she's a bad it. influence. <laughs> she's definitely a bad influence. But it's 50, 50 euros about, so it's like $50-ish. Honestly, I don't think it's really that bad for like a nice bag like this. And it's a crossbody, so I think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with my bag. This is like so cute. This honestly looks nicer than my Aldo bag. And my Aldo bag was so much more expensive, so. It is time for the gondola ride. keeps tipping each way. It's scary. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Pierre. What is it? Pierre. Pierre. Yeah, that's not Italian. <laughs> 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 he said we are going on the Grand Canal, Grand and it's just like the main street pretty much. <laughs> so fast, it was so yeah, beautiful. Was so so we are walking through the street with all these super nice stores. We actually just passed Gucci, but we are walking to Piazza San Marco and we're going to see what's over here. Guys, we made it. It took 30 minutes to get here from where, where the train dropped us off, but it was beautiful. So speedy. So spring. It's the bridge of size. So basically, of my understanding, it, this is a jail and that's freedom. So when they like go across the bridge into freedom, they're like sighing. Like, ah, like I guess I'm done. Or maybe it's the other way around. Like, oh. Yeah, I know. Okay, so that looks So we're just chilling, sitting on the steps, and being by the water is so calming. Venice is definitely a whole different vibe from Rome because Rome is so like hectic. And especially today because of a holiday, I can't even imagine being there right now. So this is definitely nice to get like a different vibe. Looks like it's about to rain, which is really sad. Apparently it's gonna start at six. So we're heading back to the train station. The streets are so calm, it's like so refreshing. So it's officially sprinkling a little bit, but the sun is setting and it's not really like a stormy, like, I mean, I guess it is over here, but it's still like a pretty sunset. We're gonna go find some place to eat dinner before we get on the train. We got pasta carbonara, and this actually looks like the prettiest I've ever gotten. It's so pretty. Look how cute this Polaroid is that we took on that bridge right over there. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Day trip to Venice. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was chill. It was relaxing. Also, really tiring. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of walking. My feet hurt. Yeah, my feet hurt too. Now we are walking to the train station and we're going to board our train.
Thank you.